Okay folks, this is it. This is my second attempt for the longest ride. Uh, during the first one, the camera was not looking in the right orientation. So this time I have two cameras, one on my chest, one on, on top of my helmet. And hopefully the batteries will last a little longer. Today is a little warmer. It's a little better for the battery performance. And let's see how far I can go. One thing I forgot to do is it's still in kilometers per hour, but I'm going to switch it to miles per hour. By now I can feel from time to time the rejuvenator braking kicking in, I'm not even touching the brakes. So when I am going down a hill, somehow it's trying to keep it at a certain speed, I, I believe. Perhaps it's sensing the angle of the bike, I'm not sure. I am on full throttle, straight and level, and I'm seeing 26 miles an hour, maybe 27 most. So if I disable the S mode, this will definitely qualify as a moped. Okay, it's just past 10 mile mark and I arrived to my sister and brother-in-law's house. While they are out of town, I'm going to check their mail, if there are any packages, pull them inside and water their plants. So once I'm done with that, I'm going to be on my way back home. So the round trip is going to be about 20 miles, but once I get home, hopefully, I may just end up going around the block a couple of times until 
until the battery is uh, depleted. So I'm going to just pause this so it doesn't count my steps inside. It is 10.15 miles. The top speed was 34 miles per hour, but that's not real. It was going down a steep hill. And it stayed mostly around uh, between 25 to 28 miles per hour on straight and level streets. Okay, now I'm going inside. See you soon. I'm starting the second part of the trip. So, just started the GPS to record. And hopefully the angle is okay. Okay, I am back home. Let's see. It's almost 21 miles. And the maximum speed was 35 miles per hour, but that was pro for probably for a very short distance when going downhill. Usually, let me pause this. Uh, there is uh, still some capacity in the battery. The first 10 miles I didn't feel any power dips except maybe going uh, up a hill or something. But after 10 miles uh, the, the battery indicators start coming down a little bit. And especially after 15 miles I could feel the both power and speed dropping when I was climbing the hills. But straightaways they are still at 27 miles per hour. It looks like the controller is uh, not letting the motorcycle go faster than that, except when I accelerate downhill. 
and uh, when I'm uh, just going up the hill maybe it drops to 23 24 miles per hour so what I'm going to do is there is still some daylight left go around the block a couple times and see where the battery starts petering out and during the whole time I did not switch to S mode it has been always in the D mode so let's see what kind of uh, additional distance I'm going to get on this charge so let's get this one started again and go around the block a couple times hopefully the batteries of the cameras are still good Wow, that's a Honda Civic Type R. I haven't seen too many on the street. Very nice car. I'm going to break with the left. Look at the battery indicator. It's doing regenerative braking, so it's kind of charging up the bars are increasing.
right, we are done. Let's pause this, we take a screenshot. We are a little over 30 miles and the maximum speed was 35 miles an hour but that was, that was not real, it was going downhill for only a split second and we stayed in D mode the whole trip, so let's put it back to park and let's turn this off and right now if you can see it the battery indicator is still showing four bars but not true so as soon as I start opening the throttle this goes to one blinking bar with the red bar light coming on so what does it say well the first 20 miles of the trip was really nicely paced so I was using above 50% throttle most of the time probably above 75% throttle uh, the majority of the trip and the first 10-15 miles was without any issues and then the power stop dro started dropping a little bit in the you know between 15 to 20 miles and then after that I was going around the block for another 10 miles it was fine at you know slow slower speed but was never reaching its top speed 4D which is I believe 27 28 miles per hour and the last five miles coming up to 30 miles, uh, the red battery, battery light was blinking. So the conclusion, this motorcycle, electric motorcycle or moped, in S mode it has the maximum range of 20 miles and in D mode it has the maximum range between 30 to 35 miles. You can go up to 35 miles probably if you are staying at slower speeds surface streets and not doing a trek like I did today which was you know, on the f uh, higher side of the D mode but you know my expectations are met in terms of the speed and range on a 2000 watt electric motorcycle with lead acid batteries and 2000 watts corresponds to about 2.7 horsepower so it's not much for the weight it's carrying so my expectations are satisfied with this one I'm going to continue making videos on this one and please stay tuned and stay safe during this COVID-19 crisis and if you are a rider ride safe if you are shopping for motorcycles you know consider electric motorcycles as well they are becoming really popular and they are e very easy to ride, very easy to maintain. Signing off, take care.